Abundance Deep Dive Day 19. So today I drove back from Edmonton and it was going to cut it really close whether or not I could stop and connect to Wi-Fi to be able to catch the live call. And I got to the point of I'd either have to wait a half an hour for the call to come on and hang out and kind of keep myself busy or I just push through it and catch it on the replay. So by the time I made it back home, they would have um, collected the, the information from Zoom and Vimeo and posted it on the uh, portal. So I'm standing there, I'm like, hey, do I, don't I? I don't really want to waste another half an hour on top of however long the call is going to be. It could be, you know, an hour and a half or two hours. Like it could be a long one. I don't really want to sit in like a McDonald's and watch Steve and, and what happens if it's emotional and all of that, like a public um, scenario. And what happens if the Wi-Fi cuts in and out? Like it could be a waste of time. So I chose to power through it and drive and it sucked to miss the live version. Um, just the way that it worked out and trying to get back home, it, it just didn't mesh. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, catch it on the replay and I can watch it at uh, one and a half times the speed so it goes by a little bit quicker. Uh, today's stuff was all about heart alignment in business and income sources. And I thought, what a perfect way to spin off of yesterday's chat. And I find that this isn't necessarily something that I struggle with. Um, sometimes the bits around things that I say yes to are not completely in alignment. And what is that about? So that was my biggest takeaway today. Um, what did I write down? Saying yes to partial matches. And that's where it becomes um, less than desirable. So if we were to rate our relationship with the heart alignment and how we make money and are those in, um, are they in alignment? Are they in sync? And I thought on a scale of one to five, you know, where do I fit on that? And sometimes it's not even good. Like sometimes it's really, really great and it's amazing, but more often than not, you know, in the last year, let's say, I'd say it's about a two, um, where it doesn't really feel so great. It's, it's, less than good and, and not totally shitty, but somewhere in between on the alignment piece. Not that I'm not grateful. That's a totally different thing. But do I feel like it's an, in alignment? And the answer is no. And that's part of why I decided, decided to stall Oh my goodness. Dissolve my business. It's like 10 o'clock at night. So I'm, I'm starting to wind down here, peeps. Um, so I thought, okay, what is it going to take then to get to be like a five out of five where it's completely in alignment, excellent, where I have no doubt in my mind and, and having those experiences, what, what is the shift? And the difference in, if I had to summarize this day is this, if you choose to compromise on your values, that is what causes you to be out of alignment. So the number one priority should always be to honor your values. And so if you haven't gone through your values, I'm going to post in the next couple of days, and it might be a, a separate blog post that I link to this day so that it's not super crazy long. But how do you come up with your values then? How do you even decide? And for myself, you know, I have my five core values, but I'm going to re revisit that and just make sure that they are, in fact, my five core values. And the, the best part is you can change them. So, you know, here I am. I, I figured them out about a year ago, a little more than a year ago, I'd say. And what if um, they changed a little bit? What if I want to, you know, value something else instead? And uh, one of the core things we talked about today was that money shouldn't really be a value. So money is, is kind of like a tool to get you to whatever it is that you desire. So if you desire freedom um, and money is, you know, your ticket or your tool to get freedom, then freedom is your value, not money. Does that make sense? So money is sometimes the byproduct and kind of what happens as a result, but it's not, it's not the number one priority. It's not the number one thing that you should be chasing. And if you are chasing the money, if that is something that you are um, striving towards, that can cause you to be out of alignment. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, that's pretty much it. Like if you're struggling with trying to find the heart centered piece, I mean, I have creativity as my job and, and that's something that um, once upon a time, it wasn't always that way. But if you're someone that doesn't have that heart aligned piece and your work is something that you really struggle with, this would be a great day to focus in on and really slow it down, pay attention, maybe watch it a couple of times and let it all sink in. 
I know that there's a couple of people in my life that could really benefit from today, um, but they are in resistance. They're choosing resistance and they are um, getting kind of stuck on the hamster wheel. So that's their choice. And, and when they want to eventually jump off of that, um, something like this is always here for them to dive into. But you have to be willing to kind of explore some of the um, dark and unknown parts to be able to get to that fun and happy place. So that was it for me today. I'm going to focus on my values and uh, it was a great, um, not quite the total linchpin piece that I was looking for that I was talking about yesterday, but it's getting a little bit closer. So uh, I'm excited. I don't have anything super pressing on my plate so I can actually spend a little bit of time in the morning journaling before the live call and I'm excited to get back into the groove of the live call. I really like that time frame. Um, I feel like my life is being shifted and pushed back a little bit further so I'm I'm always pushing my midnight deadline to get this stuff done and I'm not really enjoying that part so I think tomorrow will be get it done fresh and early while I still have lots of energy and then I can get on to some other things that are on my list. Alright so that's it and we'll chat with you guys tomorrow.